some years back a lot of people came out to say the film industry in ghana has collapsed but over the years we see there's a recovery um it's not doing very well as compared to the nollywood and other african countries who are making films as well but then we are actually recovering now we want to discuss the current state of ghana film industry and also the ceo of the national film authority miss juliet ashanti stay tuned my name is grace jesse and i'm going to be joined in by mr samir rasta to have this conversation with guys welcome back you're watching on my decks right here on get network with amazing mr samuel owusu asari Ooh. aka samuel rasta aka atp clan aka numero uno director <laughs> <laughs> you always want to find trouble for me I don't know about you. Number uno director is uh, Frank Fifi Garvin. Oh, what? really? That's his, that's his title. I don't want to fight him. I don't want him to say he's ah. himself director one. So okay. you, if, you, if you want to hear that thing, please don't, don't go. Don't go anything I, I come up with, somebody already realized, just claim uh, it. So let them claim it. TP Clan. It's TP sorry. Clan. All right. Good. <laughs> yeah, just briefly, when um, who. Mm. Over the weekend, mm. Mm. we went for the premiere of the Shambles. Yeah, yeah. Comments. Shambles. Well, first of all, a uh, big shout out to the people of Volta region, especially who, uh, all those who made it to the uh, premiere. Mm. I want to say thank you uh, for believing in your people right. and also throwing your support. Mm. I knew the the MP Senate delegation. Yeah, you know, amazing people. So. Right. Big shout outs to all of them. I actually enjoyed my trip, mm. and um, for a beginning, I think this is this is great. You people need to be encouraged. You need all the support. So, mm. big shout outs to the cast and crew mm. uh, of Shambles, and yeah, that, that was great. That was great. And also on behalf of Cedar Productions, the whole team, we want to say thank you to you for making time out of your busy uh, shadows and to go all the way to Volta region to witness our little beginning yeah. and also to Clemento Suarez who made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My my small bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Clemento is, a, is such an amazing person and mm -hmm. um, I, will, I will encourage all the 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 celebrities out there mm -hmm. that um, they should show support to things that happen in their region. You know? yeah. It shouldn't always be um, Accra, Accra, yeah. Accra. You know? We all know uh, Accra is just um, you know a hub, film hub for Ghana. Yeah. We understand. Yeah. But let's let's always go back to our hometown mm. and then influence people with the fame, the, the our status and that so that we can also grow the 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 creative industry in our region. Right. Yes. So the likes of Fela, yeah. you know, all the people from Volta region mm. who are doing well, Peter Sedufia. Yeah. You know, they should all be helping you guys up there to build just like the the Kumasi people have been doing. Yeah. You know, you see the musicians collaborating with the actors and exactly. all they're all just helping yeah. each other yeah. to promote yeah. their music and their scope. Yeah. Also promoting their skate and their movies for them. So that's that's one thing that I will encourage all the other regions mm -hmm. uh, to also emulate and then let's help build a better creative economy for Ghana. Yeah and big shout out since you've you spoken about the musicians, big shout out to, to B as well. Yeah 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 the yeah, landlord the landlord of uh, <laughs> Who? Who, who yes yeah. and, and 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 of course um, I, I really enjoyed my life i think we need to have an episode a whole episode on, on, on that nightlife in nightlife yo yeah 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 it <laughs> yes. was it was a whole jam yes, a big shout yes. out to the big guys who made it happen um lord newton ellie quay and you are amazing Della rap also the rap evangelist he came to perform and yes. also um the guy with the live band uh, yeah, superstar something something. Hey, superstar something. <laughs> sorry, sorry about sorry I forgot the yeah, name, but yeah. a big shout out to you also. Okay, let's come back to the main reason we are seated here. The National Film Authority. Personally, I'm a very big fan of the CEO. Mr. Executive Secretary. Let's not, not the CEO. Uh, CEO 
the the title given to her uh -huh. is executive secretary that's uh, how the 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 um the law uh -huh. you know recognize her the the law that was passed uh, you know for us to have the NFV. the position is national uh, uh, executive secretary in uh, the ceo but if, if, if i <laughs> if i go on uh, instagram right now she has changed it to ceo it is <laughs> the executive secretary to okay. the board okay there's All not right. like ceo in our in our uh, film bill okay anyway we are referring <laughs> to miss uh julietia asantua asanti mm -hmm. i'm a big fan of her i always follow her um instagram and she always have something new to update us with on what's going on with the nfa and the hard work she, she's actually putting in to promote our film industry now recently she had a summit in lagos nigeria uh, and it's all about shooting in ghana or filming in ghana we had um some of our great actors who are in nigeria made time to attend the, the summit the likes of we see blay bless fortune and others now mm -hmm. she's doing good what would you say about um, her works and then the board as us? Well, um, obviously she's doing something. Okay. But as to its benefit for us now is the problem. Mm -hmm. I won't say she's not doing anything. She's obviously doing something. But you see, and like I told you the last episode we did on NFA and yeah. film, I am a very big critic of her. Mm. And I'll continue to do that. All in the interest of the film industry. Mm. Whatever I was saying then, it's still the same thing that I'm going to say now, or re-echo it. Mm. Juliet Asante is doing things on her own. She is treating Ghana movie like we are like Nollywood. Mm. Ghana film industry, as it stands now, is not close to Nollywood. Okay. Market relevance, growth. You know so many things, and. You want to treat a falling industry that needs growth, mm. that needs to pick up and you know you know grow the, the whole industry again. You want to treat it like oh, it's like we are okay. Mm. Yeah, we are, we are doing things right. So we just need this and this and this and that. It, 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 it's it's it will never help us and that's why for almost four years now there's nothing better coming out of whatever she's initiating there's no better results you understand no better results is she's just teasing herself and laughing <laughs> you know she's just She's just doing something and telling people about her achievement and all that. Those things are nothing for us now. Okay. And, and the letter that the board chair, mm -hmm. David Donto, has written and copied the ministry, copied the, the, the chief of staff, and it shows that the lady is doing things all by herself. All right, let's, let's dive into the, the letter. Okay. This letter is not really, really out there. But of okay. course, as a film maker and a very influential person in the industry, yeah. I will get it All right. from my source. And it's... it's, it's of course. Concrete, it's, it's, reliable. It's, yes, on, on National Film Authority letter signed by okay. David Donto. Board chair. Okay. So this letter is 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 there. Right. But like I say, it's not in the media, but okay. I have it. Alright, let's go. They highlighted 
uh, three concerns mm. and then I'm going to paraphrase because of time. Mm. The first thing is Juliet has established a committee for what she calls the Anansi Project. Okay. Which is a treaty between Trinidad and Tobago and Ghana. Mm. This, the board doesn't know anything about it. So how, how is she able to go ahead and execute, execute it the It simply plans? means she is doing this all by herself. But don't, don't, don't she need like, the boss approval before of she... Of course. That's why the board has written this letter that the lady doesn't even recognize them in terms of whatever she wants to... You know, this thing started way back when the board was initiated. Okay. When she decided to rename the film industry, she didn't get the boss approval. Even with the rebranding? Yes. And she went ahead... And then, you know, when we started talking about it, then he, she had to make amends with some of the board members and all that. And then later on, she launched it until there was um, a, a concern. And we petitioned the minister and then the minister had to, you know, come in and then uh, stop this Black Star Film Festival, Black Star Film or whatever, whatever that she wanted to bring, you know. Mm. It started from there. And now, this is the result. Another thing that they mention is, she also had an upcoming African summit yeah. that the board also did not know anything about. No, but that was a big one. Like, oh. he, he had prominent filmmakers all over Africa attend that, that summit. Was David Duncan not there? David Duncan said the board was not aware. I am not seeing it. Mm. She did this without the board's approval. And what it is, is when, when these things are pushed to the board, they will deliberate on it, discuss, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then get the relevance, the importance, and all that. Mm. I, know, I know a little about this project that the, 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 the then minister was not even aware of this project, per my sources, Whoa. that she had to jump the minister and go to the higher authority to get things done. So, the little information that I have, I cannot say it's factual, it is that she even has a problem because of that with the deputy minister of our sector. You see, whatever she's doing mm. is really, really, really it, 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 it goes a long way to affect all of us. All right, let's let's talk about that. Let me I finish with the last point. Okay. Then we come All right. into that. All right. The last point is they scheduled a meeting. Mm. They went for a meeting on the fourth of June. Mm. The board herself and then you know issues were raised. Upon deliberation, they had to postpone the meeting to the twenty sixth of June. She did not show up. She did not send any notice mm. to whosoever. She didn't bother to communicate at all that I did not come. So I didn't come. To a whole board, for a whole board to sit and wait for you without any excuse, without sending any letter or any representative or whatever, or calling the board to say, I am sick, I have been engaged here or this. She did not regard them. Uh. So do you think such a person is a good leader? Okay, so let's talk about how this is going to affect the industry. 
Because personally, I feel if you're able to still make your films, like just recently you directed Mark Brown's new project, Great and Mighty, Great and Mighty, which is doing amazing on YouTube, you are okay. If I'm able to go to the Volta region to shoot my films and premiere it, I'm okay. If you're able to do these individual stuff to grow ourselves and to grow the industry, why do we need to pay so much attention to the National Film Authority who is, you, you say, is doing things on her own? Okay. So, let me tell you, mm. the film bill mm -hmm. is older than you. Thank you. The bill. All right. I was in school 20 years, University of Ghana, 20 years. Mm -hmm. When I went there, the bill, they had already prepared the film bill. Mm -hmm. Do you know the struggles that filmmakers and the efforts that filmmakers made for the bill to be passed. If there is nothing in it that was supposed to help the film industry, why all these years, yeah. over 20 to 30 years of preparing this film bill, we had to push and push and push. I completed school. I became the president for Film Career Association. I had to join a movement called the Film Federation of Ghana, for us to push this bill. Okay. Mm. That time, where was Juliet Asante? I'm not saying she doesn't qualify to be in her position. But what I'm trying to say is, people went through difficult times, went through, you know, a lot of sacrifices to get the film bill passed. At the end of the day, we even had to go at uh, picketing mm. for the board to be established. And now we have. A Was board. she part of the those that went on, on to the ministry to do the demonstration or whatever? You see, the National Film Authority has the mandate to help the growth of Ghana film growth yeah development of ghana film yeah is one of their objectives mm. the last time i even said it when we had this guy i met her at peace fm and i said that everything that you are doing is 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 something that is for a bit like a big film industry, like established, like a well established. Well doing. It's unfortunate for you that your time in office you met the state of Ghana film, like what we have now. Uh. So, your core mandate shouldn't be making the Ghana a film hub in the world or in Africa here for people to come here. Your main objective, your main focus should be help develop Ghana film. Uh. but we have she, okay she's made mention of policies to help develop the film industry shoot in ghana shoot put that aside who should come and shoot in ghana when we the people here are not shooting huh shoot in ghana for what Draw how attention. many people how many like, she featured in the foreign movie back then mm -hmm. is it not a culture that has always been there that people move and come and shoot in ghana here how many people are going to benefit from the international movies that will come to ghana here as compared to the number of employment that film the film industry uh, industry gives to the whole nation what, what are we talking about listening to one of one of a um summit some time back she made mention of the fact that we still need more education, more training. So one of the main reasons why she's saying we should shoot in Ghana is because they're going to bring expertise outside of Ghana who... That is no-brainer. Don't we have filmmakers who shoot movie and put it on Netflix? We do. Don't we have filmmakers who shoot movie and the standard of the film is equal to what the Nigerians are producing? We do. We have institutions that train actors and, and, and performers in this country. 
bringing bringing a foreign <laughs> a foreign production here how many people <laughs> will get the chance to learn from those people are they coming to work or are they coming to learn at all teach of course it's always good to be exposed to a ledger productions and you right. pick, yeah. You, yeah. we are not disputing that fact i know that some nigerian producers went as far as to get foreign dops mm -hmm. you know to come and work for them yeah they are working for them uh -huh. and then made some nigerians assist very them to good. learn from very them very good is that very what good. she's talking about yeah it's not why is it not if i am coming all the way to come and shoot my movie how do you bring somebody to come and assist me and learn from me what are you talking about is the production for you so the person is going to bring like the dop assistant dop and all of the, that it's, it's, it's in it's in the person's interest it's rather different for me okay being the producer here mm -hmm. coming to hire your services and i i place somebody to work with you that one you can you can't say anything maybe that's where the nfa comes in because if you are coming coming to do your projects in ghana probably they'll give you some people to work with they talk to you to you employ some people to listen work with, right? listen it's up to whoever is coming to accept it because first of all you don't even have tax incentives for the person to even say this is our proposal for me mm. to get all my budget to come and shoot a movie here you come and tell me i'm giving you people like this to come and shoot what what, what, what are you giving to the person in return okay let's talk about um anikula po uh -huh. the producer Kunle. Kunle, yes recently he was in ghana mm -hmm. through the help of uh, miss juliet asante and they were scouting for locations and planning to shoot in ghana <laughs> that's a big that's a big project <laughs> for who? now for who big for, project for who okay it's a big pro uh, production gonna happen in ghana drawing the attention of Ghanaians to do what what's the benefit of me as a filmmaker attention, okay the attention is you gonna see, come on ghana you see you see let's wait wait let me finish mm -hmm. and then there was an audition mm -hmm. in uh cape coast mm -hmm. for the for the series mm -hmm. aniku lapo mm -hmm. so there's a there's an audition people are coming to you know audition and you know hopefully listen, get listen. roles in the movie I, I, I and these are Ghanaians. i don't want you to waste your time i am mm. telling you this is not the first time this is happening here this is a, even a nigerian production yeah do you know the number of nigerian productions that have been in ghana mm. with or without the influence of the national film authority okay what are you talking about there are Nigerian producers who come and pick 100% crew, 100% uh, a cast from Ghana here. What, what, what are you talking about? And that's creating employment for our sector. So now mm -hmm. you came and 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 and, and you met um, 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 an industry which is almost almost on the verge of collapse. Yes. Should that be your priority? How many films, how many of such films will come in uh, uh, within this year? You mean like the, the kind of big productions? The one that you are saying yeah. she has brought yeah, and, yeah, brought yeah, and yeah, people yeah. are going to work. Yeah. How many? How many actors in Ghana here will be employed? How many crew members? And those people that will be employed, do you think how much they will be paid for such project, project can take them through the whole year? Listen, this is no joke. Oh. Mm. And I, I am shocked that the presidency, the government doesn't see how the Kuma Wood, the Gollywood, and the Ghana film employ people. What, what is the cry of the nation now? Employment. Hmm. You see, we joke with things and we, we because we are in power because we are affiliated to politicians and all that we do things that we go scot free Juliet Asante should have been kicked from the, that position long time <laughs> i am waiting we the next two days mm -hmm. they are supposed to meet the minister and i'm waiting for the results if care is not taken i might go on a naked demonstration in ghana here 
for the president to see me and for me to tell them, tell him that he should fire that lady. Nah, nah, that is crazy. That's not. Some of us don't know anything apart from filmmaking. No. This is our livelihood. This is why we live. Those days, let me tell you, let me take you back as far back as 2005. I was able to buy a car as a student because of film. When I completed university, I had two cars because of film. What are you talking about? Okay. What, what are you talking about? A young graduate from University of Ghana, I was driving a BMW. And it was because of film. It was it's because of that that I even had film making that I had issue with my, my lecturer in, on, on campus because I, he wanted me to be uh, his, uh, a TA doing my national service. But I rejected wow. it. I was making money. Mm. This is no joke. The industry needs to grow. And I thank the people those that are doing, I always mention Kobe Run, I always mention uh, um, um, Yvonne Nelson and the people that did not sleep. Now they are, they are waking people yeah. up and people are shooting. Yeah. And instead of the body that are overlooked all of us here to take the mandate to bring out certain things to help us push, push the agenda, they are going around doing se seminars and whatever yeah. that does not benefit us. You call for people to come and build cinemas here when the film industry is not shooting anything to put into the cinema. Yeah. Huh? Go and ask Nigerians, 10 years ago, how many cinemas were in Nigeria? Go and ask, go and do your research and ask the current number of cinemas in Nigeria now. If they have not seen the growth, do you think people will be building cinemas? Yeah. We say it and people think, this is not personal. I, I, I would love Julia, Julia Sassanti to be my sister. It's not about her personality. It's about her activity as a general secretary of our, our industry, uh, National Film Authority. You disrespect the board. You do things all by yourself. And what, 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 what do you want to do for us? The government, through you, the government launched the pitch series. What has happened to it? This is something that you should be pushing. You should be using that power that you have to do things without informing the board to fight for the president to put a seed money like $2 million, $3 million, $4 million, or $5 million for the pitch series and see the, the kind of um, activities or whatever that will start generating. You are there... And all that you want to do are things that will benefit you or things that you know what you want to achieve with it. Oh. I thought that this is no joke. You see how... how, how yeah, yes. heated. You are. Yes, because the kind of love and the passion that we, we've built over these years yeah. for fame is no joke. Oh. It's no joke. So, the MPP government, um, now our sector led by the the Honorable Ejapa and the Okre Kumanti should right. see this as no joke. Mm. Or we will come and mention names of the things that we've heard, even though they are all speculations or uh, allege, but we will say it and prove to them or show Ghanaians that this is what is going on, and that's why the lady is having those powers. Okay, okay, we gotta calm down on that part. Actually, Julius shouldn't think maybe through this, 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 you become this executive, like, so you have powers that you can disrespect the, the, the board and go ahead and do initiate your things and all that. You are not doing any service to the film industry. And we will, we will not recognize you for anything. We will not. 
you don't if you don't respect the board you don't respect any filmmaker trust me and those are people david donto is not just an ordinary person on the street he's somebody who has credibility in our film industry yeah. Yeah. he's older than you and all that because of power if you think he's nobody and you don't respect him what can you do for us with such arrogance would you say her policies are working for other filmmakers but not necessarily you working for others? who 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 for Kobe Rana or for Yvonne Nelson or for who mention mm. I've not been an active filmmaker I accept it but the people that are working what is the NFE's contribution to their projects you are an active filmmaker you have one of like the biggest no no forget it uh, no I'm, I'm rebuilding my career so forget about whatever it will get to a point where I need not to talk much At, is is great and mighty up to half a million now views. almost almost almost, it's almost, almost half yes it's around views on youtube great and mighty directed by almighty someone who's oh, sorry he's acting okay let's continue <laughs> <laughs> you see the great is a very sad thing mm. when i received the letter and you see it did not start today it started from the day that she was made the executive secretary some of the board members even came out publicly to tell us this but oh hey why can you be coming out like that you are part of the board and you shouldn't be bringing all these things to the media and then some of us have to stand with her big shout outs to rukia uh. and now it has come from the main man himself the board chair issuing this letter with the help of the board members telling Ghanaians and telling the ministry this is what is going on it's been four years um, ever since the NFA I mean her term in office you're in the election year any moment from now things can actually change why don't you just wait for what if things <laughs> it remain the same okay hmm? Hmm. see if our executive secretary hmm. was smart or is smart enough to collaborate with the board i'm sure the policies that the mpp the ruling government has brought out for our sector you have seen an input from our session mm? Mm. Mm? <laughs> there's nothing in there for us flat tax for who for all of us what special thing that we need in there that did not show up the film fund is being captured in the in 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 our um, film bill that there's supposed to be a film fund. Why was no, is it not captured in the manifesto? You see, uh, things need to change. Yeah, but we'll come back on this yeah, issue. We, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely after the because when I heard the deputy minister speak about this issue. Even a deputy minister for the great for the for the for our space. When I and I heard him speak about this issue, let me reserve my comments until that. He's my guy, but I was not <laughs> impressed with his response. And definitely, we should come back yeah. after after the meeting. Yes, and I'll get it. Whatever happens. Juliet, I will hear it. I will hear it too. <laughs> I'm not there, but I will hear it. Yes. All right. Uh, this has been another meaningful conversation about our film industry. I see how so passionate you are when it comes to the film industry. How you always heat up 
and we just hope that things get better so at least we yes we hope that things get better and then we can have equal stance with our brothers and sisters in nigeria all right and things will heat up again and nigerians would love to come to shoot in ghana again again yes and Juliet Asansi is working on that in nigeria Ooh, she's in lagos it. right now forget it forget <laughs> it forget it they will come and collaborate with who <laughs> eh? nigerians were coming they were coming themselves mm. eh? the actors producers whatever they were all coming you know ghanaian producers were inviting nigerian actors it wasn't once in a blue moon like what Kojun Kansan has done this year yeah. it was just yeah. like yeah. it's as if there's something new yeah. but we have our people going there a lot now like, yes you know. they, they have to go and, and yeah. learn from them they have to go and, and look for their daily bread they are hungry here they are hungry so guys go go to nigeria and make and make money eh? nigeria filmmakers employ our people give them money give them food to eat because they are starving here. The film industry here is not paying much, it's not active, and they are hungry. They need to go and chase. And they are also learning too. They are building yeah, yeah, yeah. Their, their, their face in Africa here through Nollywood. Great numbers. Yes. Really That's good great. Numbers. Big ass to all of you. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode as well. Do you have anything else to say? Are we? No, no, no. Uh, Juliet must go. That's all that I oh. <laughs> 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 okay all right thank you guys for watching uh this episode of my decks right here on g18 network please continue to follow our subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet to like our videos send your comments whatever he's saying i want you to say something about it and also yeah just stay with us anything we bring up i'm sure you're gonna get it my name is great Jesse. <laughs>